Okay, everything's on. I just want to do this just so I can show that when the magnets aren't there, we're having a problem. Okay, take a look. Just a flat plate. And I don't have my field. And I took out my center plate. So, either the mass of the center plate's making a difference or the magnet. So, I'm going to change the bottom back to magnet. And then we're going to see what it does again. So, if you're wondering if the voltage is still on. Clearly right there. Look at this. It's not giving me any voltage, but it's now moving my magnet in the same direction as the top disc is spinning. So it's hitting, it's picking up speed too. It must be amplifying eddy current or something in that top disc. You see, there's like I'm getting a fraction of wind and it's only because the two plates they come together so the closer they come together you're going to get a little wind maybe it's catching on the magnet and, and doing the wind maybe it's doing it on uh, you know eddy current I don't know so certainly interesting I thought we'd get this field around it like I did the other day but without that center plate I'm not getting the field so yeah, I put it in center plate and do it, you know, again, I don't know. But this is interesting, I just want to show it, I'll let it run for a little while and see if this thing can see my other, uh, <laughs> this here is the power cord for the other one, it's for the bottom motor, it's not plugged in, I blew out my ESC this morning. So, yeah, it's just running based on what the top one's doing. So, kind of interesting. Yeah, let's see if we get to do this. Let's see if it turns off. Oh, it's probably open. And plug the voltage. Still spinning. Yeah, maybe it's just the wind. This is that place that's got a charge. Oh, you can feel that magnetic force. Hmm. Let's stop it. Let's completely stop. There's no voltage in it. Nothing. Let's see if we get a little push. It's the wind. So, I now put the ground, or the black wire DC, to the frame, and the bottom picked up in speed. That's not wind. That is moving that thing. Okay? The other one is barely moving. We could have stopped that. That I'm not putting my hand in. So there's something to do with the frame. I'm going to turn off the light and see if we get some kind of a set. No, nope, not picking up any field. But it's moving those magnets hard.
yes, it's out of balance, and yes, I put it in the wrong hole, so it's awkward, because whatever. So please don't tell me to put a grinder to it, because yes, when I fix it, it'll straighten out. But, that's moving because of that power. Let's disconnect it again. See if it flows it. Still going now. You know, it makes me wonder. We have a magnetic field, obviously, there. It's against the aluminum. This aluminum has not responded like normal aluminum. It's been thin and junky. And now we're getting a good effect. I don't even have that motor, motor plugged in. So, I guess we'll stop it, restart this thing, and see what it does again. Look at that, it's swirling. Look at the air, right here, right here. Just swirling around. Got some ionic wind going there. That's cool. when that big plate's in there. I'm well, not happy now because it's sparking like crazy. I mean, the bottom's not even attached to it anymore. So, let's well, speed up the motor a little bit. This thing's going to get a little cranky on me.
turn the sucker back on, man. It's the vibration that makes it lift. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to add, uh, add other things in it. Yeah, I bent the hell out of that thing. I'm gonna fix it. the lift when it vibrates. So it's upside down now. I just want to check and you can see it. See it right there? It's going the opposite direction now. You see the field around it? Yeah, I like that big plate. I didn't like that small one. Yeah, it goes in the opposite direction now. You put it upside down. Just in case you're wondering. 